Stop forecast on WCCB News rising each morning and traffic updates as school buses hit the roads again. A massive tree crashes down on not one but two homes in West Charlotte. It happened around 8 this morning on Merriman Avenue. Two families were forced out of their homes when the tree fell. No one got hurt and tonight one of the homeowners explains how he got out of harm's way just in time. When that first branch fell, I was actually in the bedroom. That's what woke me up. And I got up and got dressed and come out. And I heard the sound again. And I looked over this way and three seconds later, the tree was coming down. Code enforcement says both houses are not safe. The Red Cross is helping the residents. Well, a quieter night for us. We haven't seen the stormy weather that we've seen in recent days, so uh, kind of a good thing. We need the rain, of course. We're behind, as you well know, but uh, today was a quiet day. No rain falling at the airport officially. Uh, we're down 35 one hundredths of an inch for this month, but uh, quite a bit more for the year, though. And we had 88 as a high temperature today. This was pretty spot on for this time of the year, as far as temperatures go, anyway, with the mixture of clouds and sunshine. And right now we have fair to partly cloudy skies and 81 our current temperature and an east northeast wind at seven miles an hour that will help lower humidity just a touch coming up tomorrow not a bad night at all here on the touchstone energy cam with the fair skies uh, all the stormy weather shower activity all that kind of good stuff down southeast of us a few up towards the mountains but uh, only an isolated shower chance coming up long about uh, say one two o'clock in the morning here at home most of those will be very light showers at best, though, and a pretty quiet night. Uh, more activity back here to the west of us, but we'll just get grazed by some of this. There is an outside chance, a very slight chance for Saturday and Sunday uh, for us to pick up a little wet weather. But uh, truthfully, right now we've kind of uh, got a little wedge going here that will keep us on the dry side. Shouldn't be a big problem at all. We look way out here to see. Uh, here we are in the Atlantic and uh, watching Danny now, which is a very powerful hurricane with 115 mile an hour winds, 138 mile an hour winds gusting near the center of circulation, and it's west northwest movement at 10. Well, what does this mean for us? We're going to track this for the next bunch of days here because uh, it, now it's a category three, could well become a tropical storm by the time it gets over here closer to Haiti, long about Wednesday. But we're talking, you know, days down the road. But the track of this thing could either turn northward which I expect that may well be the case, and then head up towards uh, the Carolinas and then out towards Bermuda, uh, or it could come into the Gulf of Mexico. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Of course, Greg will have the latest for you coming up this weekend. Uh, we're talking about just a few clouds tonight. Could be an isolated shower, mainly to our west, but no big problems tonight, though. And then as the next system passes by, long about Saturday afternoon, a sprinkle or a shower, possibly, but game time, I think things will be pretty good. Sunday, there's an outside chance for some showers as well, because it's always an outside chance, right? All right, 69 tonight, we're talking mild and muggy conditions with an isolated shower. And then from the mountains all the way down, temperatures in the upper 80s, mid 70s up into the mountains, you have a little better chance of showers than we do here. Uh, there's what's going on game time forecast. We're talking temperatures in the 80s. By the time the game's over with, it's still like 79 degrees, so pretty good. And your seven day forecast calls for daytime high temperatures in the 80s. Overnight low temperatures down around 70 degrees. No big surprises here. This is, you know, still typical of summertime. So there you go. When's it going to snow? <laughs> yeah. What? The sooner the better. Bring the snow. <laughs> okay. We appreciate that, Rich. Yeah. Thank you. The Charlotte Broadcast Hall of Fame inducted its inaugural class today, including 11 pioneers in Charlotte radio and television. Big names you may remember, like the Reverend Billy.